since the gold yardstick cryptocurrency may be the most significant thing to have happened to the money. While many people are still cautious of crypto and don't completely comprehend or trust how digital currencies get and hold value, even with the recent massive Bitcoin crash that affected other cryptocurrencies adding fuel to the fire, the others who have followed crypto's advancements since Bitcoin's inception in 2009 understand its significance and advantages and see crypto, particularly stable coins, as being even better than conventional money. The most promising digital currencies are causing havoc in the global financial services industry because they provide everyone with financial freedom through decentralization. Given how unpredictable cryptocurrency is, you might be wondering what makes it valuable. It's not unusual for Bitcoin's price to fluctuate by 5% or even 10% on any certain day. Smaller cryptocurrencies can experience even greater price fluctuations. After watching this video, you'll have a detailed understanding of what makes cryptocurrencies valuable as well as why the price of a single cryptocurrency can fluctuate dramatically in a single day. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to get updates whenever we drop a new video. Don't forget to smash that like button and comment in the section below if you have any contributions. Understanding Cryptocurrency Simply said, a cryptocurrency is a digital asset. It was dubbed a currency because it was intended to act as a medium of commerce in the same way as fiat money does today. Internet-based transactions are recorded in a blockchain. The blockchain records every unit's transaction history and is used to provide ownership. Virtual tokens are the greatest way to visualize digital assets. These tokens have significance in the internal network and can be used to track monetary operations and other essential data. The most profitable aspect of cryptocurrency is still its use as a payment method. It allows users to transfer and receive cryptocurrency in return for goods and services. Cryptocurrencies have distinct advantages since they are not governed by any central body. Processing fees are usually minimum to non-existent. There is less government regulation and supervision. This means that cryptocurrencies are movable, immune to inflation, and have a visible transaction history. Crypto Trading Cryptocurrency trading is a very fresh and rapidly expanding aspect of the crypto world. The use of crypto as a monetary system is distinct from training. Instead, consumers purchase and trade cryptocurrency in the same way as they would stock. When you buy stock in a corporation, you get ownership of the firm. Whereas when you buy a token, you get ownership of that coin. Cryptocurrency transactions are taxed in the same way as stock trading transactions in the United States. This depicts how the majority of users profit from the crypto industry. The crypto monetary system influences the cost of crypto trading in the same way that a company's share price is influenced by the demand for its products. The quantity of a cryptocurrency, the market's demand for it, its availability, and rival cryptocurrencies all influence its value. Now the main question. What makes cryptocurrencies valuable? Where does crypto get its value? Where does anything get its value? It's simple. When a large number of people believe that something is useful, it becomes valued. That's how ancient currencies like gold and even cowrie shells got their value. And it's the same way an artwork gets its value. It makes no difference why people want something, all that matters is that they want it in large enough quantities. It is at the point that economic value is created. The price of an underlying asset will be determined by market characteristics, and each token in the crypto realm, like many central bank currencies, has unique qualities that enable it to avoid depreciation and maintain its market worth. Since cryptocurrencies are generally decentralized, they derive their value from these other sources. Number 1. Regulations and Requirements There is substantial debate about who should control cryptocurrency exchanges. Cryptocurrencies are securities like stocks and bonds, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, but commodities like coffee and gold, according to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Cryptocurrency exchanges are not regulated by either of them. A deciding verdict might bring more clarity and boost Bitcoin values, while also allowing more widely traded crypto-related financial instruments to emerge. To make Bitcoin trading easier, regulation is essential. ETFs and futures contracts, for example, give investors wider access to cryptocurrencies, enhancing their value. Furthermore, regulation may allow investors to take short positions or gamble against the price of cryptocurrencies via futures or options contracts. This should result in more accurate price discovery and less volatility in Bitcoin pricing. Regulations may also hurt Bitcoin demand. If a regulatory agency modifies its laws to discourage cryptocurrency investment or use, 
the price of cryptocurrencies may fall. Number 2. Cost of Production Mining is the technique of creating new cryptocurrency units. Bitcoin mining is the process of using a computer to validate the next block on the blockchain. The capacity of cryptocurrency to operate is thanks to a decentralized platform of miners. In return, the procedure creates a reward in the form of cryptocurrency tokens, as well as any fees paid by trading parties to the miners. The verification of the blockchain necessitates the use of computational power. Users invest in high-cost gear and power to mine Bitcoin in a proof-of-work structure like Ethereum and Bitcoin. The more competition there is for mining a cryptocurrency, the more challenging it is to mine. This is because miners compete to solve a complicated math problem to verify a block. As a result, the cost of mining increases as more expensive technology is needed to mine successfully. As mining costs climb, cryptocurrency's value must rise as well. Miners won't mind if the money they're mining isn't worth enough to cover their costs. Since miners are obligated to produce the blockchain work, the price would have to rise as long as demand exists. Number 3. The Competition Thousands of cryptocurrencies exist and new projects and tokens are introduced daily. New competitors face a low barrier to entry, but producing a sustainable cryptocurrency also necessitates the development of a network of cryptocurrency users. A functional blockchain application can progressively increase a network, particularly if it fixes a fault in the competing service. If a new rival develops traction, it depletes the value of the incumbent, causing the incumbent's price to fall as a new competitor's token price rises. Number 4. Internal Governance Cryptocurrency ecosystems rarely follow a set of rigid rules. Developers make modifications to initiatives in response to comments from the community. Some tokens known as governance tokens give their owners a vote in how a project's future is shaped, including how a token is mined and utilized. Stakeholders must agree on any modification to a token's governance before they can be implemented. Ethereum, for example, is planning to switch from a proof-of-work to a proof-of-stake system, thereby rendering most of the expensive mining equipment in data centers or people's basements meaningless. Ether's value will surely be affected as a result of this. Investors on the whole prefer stable governance. Even if a cryptocurrency's operation has shortcomings, investors prefer the devil they know to the one they don't. As a result, where things are generally difficult to change, stable governance can be beneficial in terms of delivering more consistent prices. On the other hand, the lengthy process of integrating systems to improve protocols may restrict Bitcoin's upward possibilities. It is detrimental to existing stakeholders if an upgrade that could unleash value for Bitcoin shareholders takes months to implement. Number 5. Cryptocurrency Exchanges Ether and Bitcoin, two popular cryptocurrencies, are traded on a variety of platforms. The most popular tokens are listed on almost every cryptocurrency market. Some smaller tokens, on the other hand, may only be accessible on a few exchanges, reducing exposure to some investors. Some wallet issuers will gather quotes from many exchanges for any set of cryptocurrencies, but they will charge a fee for doing so, raising the cost of investing. In addition, if a cryptocurrency is thinly traded on a tiny exchange, the spread taken by the exchange may be too wide for some investors. Having cryptocurrency exchanges listing it could boost the number of investors willing and able to buy it, hence raising demand. And assuming all other factors remain constant, as demand climbs, so does the rate. And finally, before we end the video, you can make smarter Bitcoin investing selections if you grasp the fundamental concept of supply and demand that underpins cryptocurrency value and the factors that influence it. Cryptocurrency could be a decent investment if you feel demand will increase for factors A, B, and C, and supply will not keep up. However, keep in mind that countries currently lack best practices for regulating cryptocurrencies, making it a dangerous and erratic investment in any case. We've now come to the end of this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of what makes a cryptocurrency valuable. What do you think about internal governance and cryptocurrency exchanges affecting the value of cryptocurrencies? Let's have your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so that next time you get notified whenever we drop a new video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.